All right, uh, we are here on one of our final stops uh, for our tour of 41 towns in 41 days. Uh, we are right now in Canaan. We just came from Falls Village, uh, known to non-Northwestern -nor -north Connecticutians as uh, Canaan and North Canaan. Um, and uh, we, uh, you know, we actually got a flavor of some of the tensions that play out here. Um, I was uh, talking uh, to uh, a woman in a beautiful old house down near the center of Falls Village. Um, uh, Margaret was her name. Margaret was talking about how the tension up here is between, you know, the need for development, the need for tax revenue and tax base to help pay for schools, and the fact that people you know, love living in an area with not too much going on. Um, and you know, she always she sort of felt that maybe uh, folks were a little bit too protective of the way of life up here, and that you know we needed a little bit more industry and a little bit more manufacturing here. Um, but it actually speaks to something that I've been talking about for a long time, which is regionalism. Um, you know, if Connecticut did more regional planning, you could really have concentrated sectors of development so you could allow for, you know, big parcels of land, big areas like we have here in northwestern Connecticut to stay the character that they are, relatively rural and sparsely populated. Uh, but because every single town has to have their own tax base, you really put this pressure for um, very decentralized areas of development. Now this isn't as much a federal issue uh, as it is a state issue, but there are things that the federal government can do to try to incentivize that type of uh, local and statewide regional planning. But it's something that you hear a lot about when you come up here and get to know Northwestern Connecticut. It's that um, they don't want this to turn into a metropolis or to one sprawling suburb. They like the fact that things are spread out. Um, and uh, there are policies that you can pursue, uh, both at the state level and at the federal level, to back that up. Uh, so uh, again, another uh, reason why we go door to door to hear about the particular concerns uh, that uh, towns like Cannon and Falls Village uh, have. It's turning into fall here. Uh, you can see it in the wind uh, uh, and uh, feel it in the air uh, here as we wind down our tour of 41 towns in 41 days in Falls Village in Canaan.